Hey y'all, it's Betsy and the dogs from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another Christmas video. Today, we are showing you how I made this adorable tree collar. I didn't make it, I customized it. It's the same tree collar I've had for several years. I love tree collars. They don't destroy them the way they do tree skirts. And... I really wanted to tie my tree together a little bit more this year. I am doing a cruise theme tree instead of the normal pink resin tree. And I thought, you know, it would be fun. A little saying on my tree collar with removable vinyl so I can take it off, customize it differently next year if I want to. But this year it will make the tree decidedly cruise themed along with the cruise tree topper that I made. You can check that out. Um, so we're gonna head right into Cricut Design Space where we will design this bad boy. I'll show you how I picked my fonts and kind of situated it size-wise, and then we will put it on the tree collar. You're gonna see a lot of these guys this video because they think I'm only down here to hang out with them. It's a fair assumption. That's usually why I'm on the floor. So let's go ahead, go right into Cricut Design Space and get started, right ladies? Right. So let's go ahead and I am simply going to write out our phrase. Now, you can do whatever phrase you like. I think I'm going to go with, I'd rather be cruising for the bottom of my tree collar. I think I can make that really big, which I would like to do. Now you can use whatever fonts you like. I am going to be using a font on my computer. You can download this for free. I'm um, called Be Best New. I like that it's really boxy and it cuts out really easy with my Cricut while being easy to read. And then we're going to do cruising and a scriptier fun font. So let's try, I have a few that I like. Um, autumn and November. That works. I don't know that I like the C being big. We're going to make this the same size as his little friend. All right, so here is the question. I want this to be about 12 inches wide. So how tall does that make this? Because I don't necessarily want it to be 8 million inches tall. A little over 6 inches. Let me go double check on my tree collar. I checked the width. Let me go check the height and see if that's appropriate scaling. So that looks great. So now what I'm going to do so I'm going to make this white. So I'm going to cut both rows out of different colors. This row I'm going to make pink. But do you see how our font here has these breaks? If we cut this as, as it is, it will slice in between all these letters. We don't want that. We want this whole word to cut out as one piece. So we're going to go ahead and weld it. And now it is all joined together. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off our anchors because we are only cutting out this portion. And now we're going to click make. I'm going to be cutting both of these out of smart vinyl so I don't need a mat. Perfect. So let's go ahead. We will load our machine with our smart vinyl and our fine point blade. I'm sure that's what it's gonna pick. We're going to use removable vinyl. That way we can take it off this tree collar if we don't want it to be cruise related in the future. And we are going to set our pressure to more because I just find that has the best results. I'm gonna go ahead and move over to my Cricut where we can cut these out now. Let's go. All right, so I have this little scrap of smart vinyl left off my big roll. So we are luckily going to be able to cut this out without having to crack open a brand new roll. Use a lot of white smart vinyl, so there you go.
you'll be able to see it too well, but it's all up here. Gonna go ahead and do our pink now, and we will move on to weeding. All right, so we have fully weeded this top section and already put our transfer tape on it. You can see it's upside down and ready to go. So when we're weeding, we're going to be taking all these little pieces out of the middle here with our weeding tool. Sorry, all my tripod is like at my mom's house, so we're just making do. And then we will remove the outside. So that goes a little something like this. Thump it on, and you just wanna go slow. Okay, this is the worst video ever. Just bear with me. Making sure that we get all those little negative pieces out while leaving the things like the eye that we don't want to take out. It's so much fun every single time. It literally never gets old. Dun, 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 dun. So now we will go ahead, we will put our transfer tape on. We will scrape it on and then we will go ahead and go put it on our tree skirt. So this is a pretty quick, easy vinyl portion. Putting it on the tree skirt or tree collar will be the hard part to get it all lined up. So let's go ahead and head out that way. All right, so because the tree is already up and I don't want to take down, we're just gonna put this right on here as it is. Right here. Follow the guides of our bottom piece and the guides on the tree ring. should smooth pretty easily. Right. I'm just going to slowly take this back. Don't accidentally rip anything. I don't know if you saw, but my little, little dog walked past and me <laughs> tried to mess it up. She didn't try to, but she uh, caught the stickiness. I saved it, but the eye was stuck, so we'll just pop that eye on. Now, depending on if I use this tree for cruising next year, I can use this side. I can turn around and use the other side since it is against a wall. Or I can remove the vinyl because it is removable on metal. So it'll come right off if I ever want to put something else on here. Let's line this up. And we always want to start in the middle and then smooth it down. Okay. Do this middle section. Outside layers just a little bit. I could have done these on a curve since it is a curved 
um, piece, and that would have been better. But since it's on the ground, I just don't think it's going to be as noticeable. So we're just going to fake the curve here. There we go. I think that's cute. Honestly, I think the entire thing turned out adorable. Now, if I was doing it again, I would adjust it for the curve. But for a temporary solution for my cruise tree, I really think it ties it all together. I think it looks quite fancy. So, hope you liked this video. If you did, if you'd like to do this kind of a project for your tree collar, let me know down below. I kind of am just like running through a million ideas of what other sayings I could put on my tree collars for like next year. But um, I think it turned out super cute. I definitely want to adjust for the curve next year. But for this year, I'm thrilled with how it turned out. I hope you liked this project and I will see you in the next one. Maybe the tree topper. If you want to go check that out, I will leave the link down below. Bye y'all.